going on? I'm just gonna fix this real quick. Okay, that's much better. Ugh. What's up, everybody? Hey! Ten seconds in, and you're shitting yourself on stream already. Hey, man. Just gotta drop some dead weight, you know what I mean? How you doing, Adro? Damn, bro, you got here mad. Boy, you make me want to play FF7, then do it, son. Fucking do it. No, seriously, do it. You won't regret it. Yo, you ever hear about the Chocobo glitch where you could move the rocket in Rocket Town? I've only seen, like, pictures of it. I've never actually seen, like, it done live. That shit sounds funny as fuck. <laughs> I'm sweating my nervous half off my procedures tomorrow. I'm a wreck right now. No, I haven't heard of that one. Damn, bro, I'm so sorry. Well, so you're getting an endo tomorrow? Doubles! What's good, bro? How you doing? I think you're streaming right now, too. How's your stream going, bro? Throw it all the way down in the stomach. Doc said the worst case scenario is the C word. He doesn't think it is, though. Nah, I don't think it is. Um, but endos, yeah, have you, the endos themselves aren't too bad. Just, uh, if it's tomorrow, don't have anything with THC in it. Uh, just to make sure you stay asleep to, uh, when they put you down. Because when I, when they, when they knocked me out, I don't even remember closing my eyes. I just woke up. I'm concerned about the result and also the fact that it's going to cost me $1,900 with copay. Yo, that's just whack, bro. Bro, like... Health insurance is a joke. Fucking scam. Like, on the realest of shit, I know this is probably illegal as fuck, but, dude, I don't pay medical bills because I just have a moral objection to them. I mean, I the combo night school, bro. Sometimes you gotta get real, man. We still homies, bro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mainly because my insurance covers a large portion of the bill. Like, two-thirds of it. They've already made their money back, bro. They don't need any more of my money. I pay money into that shit every two weeks. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Sorry to be doing some of this boring menuing bullshit. Oh, cool. I can get more power wrists. They're kind of expensive, though. I was thinking about getting the reunion mod for this game and playing it with... Oh, yeah. Supposedly it fixes the PC version's issues and updates the graphics without breaking the art style. Screenshots look decent. Yeah, I remember seeing um, a streamer I, play, I, uh, I watch a lot um, play that game. There's like all kinds of crazy shit you can do in that game. There's like new bosses, new enemies, all kinds of wackadoo, crazy nonsense. Um, and even the leveling system looked kind of, looked really fucking different. This is the item shop. Perfect!
Um, sure. I like round numbers. I'm kind of weird. Uh, yeah, we're gonna buy all those and uh, these, cause uh, I still gotta do the thing for Sid now. Uh, sure. Um, I'll come back for that shit later. I don't really need it, bro. Like, like technically, I don't need it, but I'll have to come back for it later so I can make that master material. Throw the updates character models leaves the pre-rendered backgrounds. Yeah, I actually saw that. Yeah, where the the models look completely different, uh, better objectively speaking, and um, like there's even like Advent Children skins you can put on them and shit. So like, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, let me get up in here and take your shit. Ooh, it's drill arm. There's a shimmer logo on it. Tiny Bronco, this is cool. I wonder if we could borrow it. Um, may I help you? Yeah, we're just strangers walking in your house. We took your, uh, took some of your shit. I hope you don't mind. Just looking at it, if you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. Tifa, nice to meet you. Nanaki, otherwise known as Red 13. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing, the pro you were bringing approval for the space program. Hmm. President Rufus is scheduled to come here, and the captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Rufus? Yeah, the stuff I used to uh, promote the stream today, like on Twitter and everywhere else that I posted the stream on, uh, I used a picture of Sid uh, doing dynamite while he's lighting the dynamite with the cigarette. Such a badass. A fucking goddamn legend. A Giga Chad, if you would. No offense. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. That is the captain, sir! There's a reason he's the party leader when Cloud fucks off to Crippleville. <laughs> he is the motherfucking captain himself, Sid Highwind. The man, the myth, the legend. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me captain, though. What do you want? Uh, can we borrow the tiny bunker? Yeah, you're fucking mine. <laughs> this is my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. Uh, here we go. Wow, not bad for a kid. All right, then I'll explain it to you. You know, you shouldn't have developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days. It was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with the rocket engine. There was such excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into, uh, they put a major budget into it, and made a prototype after, and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. Finally, we get the day of the launch. Everything's going well. Because of that dumbass Shiro, that launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. <laughs> he said anal. And now, Shinra nixed our outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future of the space exploration, I got... My damn hopes up. Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. 
They don't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. That's sad as fuck, though. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over, or me getting out of here. My last soap is talking to the president. Okay, yep, that's where his dialogue loops. Now he's sad. I made, I made Sid sad. I'm sorry, Sid. Please come back. But yeah, no. Sid is best character. I will fight. Sid is best boy, Tifa is best girl. We'll fight. <laughs> I wish Tifa was a better character in the end game, but man, her final weapon just totally fucks her out of that. Uh, so yeah, we can go in here. Excuse me, Cloud? Did the captain say anything? Nope. No. Oh. Damn it, Shira, what are you, blind? We got guests. Get the goddamn tea, bitch! I'm sorry. Premium heart, an allegory to a virgin's purity. Tifa, <laughs> virgin, oh my god. <laughs> we really did this. <laughs> really, don't mind us. Hey, what up, Piscani? How you doing, bro? Send this to one other person. Another day, feel that. Ah, uh, yes, the favorite, my favorite line of all time. Hang on, I'm gonna screenshot it, even though I already have it. Shut up, sit in those chairs, and drink your goddamn tea. Alright, damn, I'm pissed. Sure, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve them some tea, alright? Yo, my dude. Rez, how are you doing? Oh, man. Resubscribing for 19 months. Holy fucking shit, dude. Thank you. Can we get a shout out for my boy Rose? Praise the sun. How are you doing, man? Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Adro. Thank you for doing that. Uh, sorry, it's our fault. No, no. He's always like this. Yes, very verbally abusive. I think it's a bit too harsh. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Oh, you know, chillin', killin'. Sid better be in FF7R Episode 2 alright. Bro, I... a uh, Dude, same. Same. I won't play the game if he's not in it. I will take that stance firmly to the fucking bank. And I will save my money. Until I can play with this beautiful motherfucker. This man's man. Just finished House of Dragon Season 1 and it ends with a huge cliffhanger. Oh shit, man. If episode 1 was entirely Midgar, who knows what the. Who knows? Oh yeah, with that. It sucks because Midgar is my least favorite part in this whole game, dude. You're not, you're not stupid, so be more efficient. 
I'm sorry. Oh yeah, this is during launch day. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Alright, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. I'm praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch, beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? So we have an emergency situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little fucker? I don't know. I'm activating the intercom in the engine section. And it's this bitch. Hey, goddamn it, who the fuck is still in there? <laughs> sure, Captain, don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Sure, what the hell are you still doing in there? I was still concerned the results of the oxygen tank weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch. <laughs> it's gonna get so high there that there ain't gonna be shit left with this blast off. Oh my god. Uh, you're gonna be burned to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. I hope it's uncensored too. I hope he just fucking verbally lays into this bitch. Uh. Almost done. You're gonna die. <laughs> we must start the countdown. If, uh, we won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. She is still in there. What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until we can launch. Oof. God damn it, Shira. You gonna make me a murderer? Captain. Shira? Tank number seven. Check is complete. Once I complete tank uh, number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira, hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What, what am I... What am I supposed to do? Poor guy. 15 seconds until ignition. Uh, and her intention, internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Shit! It's funny too, because she's right in the end. Yeah. That's why the rocket leans the way it does. And then they just decided to build a town around it. it. Just goes to show that even though Sid's an asshole, he's not a monster. I I think the way he finds out that how the way he found finds out that she was right all along was great. They never clarified Shira, his wife, after that. They got married after the end of uh, this game. Before she just stuck around to like help him out because she felt guilty. I was expecting a giant explosion. <laughs> no, he he stopped that from happening. If he hadn't have stopped that, he just she just would have burned to a fucking crisp. Shira, you still haven't served them tea. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the way Sid finds out Shiro was right was perfect. Oh yeah, bro. Uh, hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? 
there late. Where is Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, it ain't Fat Man Palmer. How long <laughs> were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space pro uh, program going to start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you talk to him? Fuck, good for nothing, fat piece of shit. <laughs> don't say fat! Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar, honey, and... Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard. God. Palmer, you really are a fat tub of shit. Why don't call me fat, butt fucker? Okay, Cartman. President Rufin's here to announce. It's gonna restart. Oh, no. Hey, hey, have we met before? Hey, hey, is the tea ready yet? Plenty of sugar. Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard, too. Bro, if... I know anybody who puts lard in their tea, I'm gonna give him the front hand, back hand combo. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going up to Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean, and that's why we want your plane. <laughs> Fucker, first my ship, then my rocket, now the tiny Bronco. Shimmer took out her space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinner Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. I'm gonna put you on the big screen and smoke some cherry punch. Happy 19 months, everyone. Hey, man. Thank you. I really do appreciate that, Rez. You're a fucking badass, dude. Enjoy your cherry punch. You, uh, you playing some Destiny tonight? Was bringing shit to do. <laughs> I've done everything. Oh no! I hate that. I hate hitting that point in the game. Like in any game. You should uh try to do New Game Plus uh Dark Souls Re Dark Souls Remastered on Xbox. I'm doing it on PlayStation. It's fun. I was, was playing some Diablo, but I can't get anything good to drop because I'm online. Oh man, I hate playing online characters, dude. Like, I've resolved to the fact that I'm not gonna start and I'm not gonna fuck with my online character until I actually play with people online. Because he's not really worth messing with like that. Hell yeah. It's rough. I'm almost level 30 in the tomb of Tal Rasha. And that bitch kicks my ass, bro. Yeah. Because they're super stingy with giving you decent equipment unless you're playing offline. Like my offline character has way better shit than my online character does. It's it's kind of laughable. At first I thought it was just me until I heard other people complaining about it. I don't even know if is gonna be doing any more damage. Fucking! I did a lot. 
Nothing to steal. Okay, good to know. We can speed through this one. We've already seen it a bunch of times. We got a bunch of people up here all of a sudden. What's up, everybody? Hello, this is a fantastic idea to start New Game Plus on DS1. You should, dude. Just fucking go for it. This is such a joke of a boss fight. Like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> but yeah, I was playing, uh, I was doing a game plus on um, my PlayStation file, and it's actually a lot of fun. Especially like once you get the uh, Artorias crest and unlock the door down in the dark root area, you can straight up just sit there and he looks like Mayor Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> a little bit. Oh yeah, you can kind of move Cloud around during this cutscene. He's like, hey! Damn. Fuck, the tail's been hit. Emergency landing. This one's gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. <laughs> I need to get myself more acquainted with the layout of Dark Souls 1 now that I have decent gear. Exactly. She won't fly anymore. Can't we just use this as a boat? Fuck. Do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra. I'm giving up on that town. How about your wife, Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me chills. See, yeah, they're not married yet. It's not until after the after um, the events of this game and like the in between of like FF7 proper and uh, Advent Children. What are you guys gonna do? Going after a man named Sephiroth. Uh, we'll have to get Rufus of the Shinner someday too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? I don't really care. Glad to be around, numbskulls. Or, glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, because anyone stupid enough to go against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So where are we headed? Rufus is going after Sephiroth in the Temple of Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients. Don't know. That numbskull kid is telling me he's heading to the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's go ahead for land and get some information about Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. How to fly the tiny Bronco. X get on and off. Circle. Oh, yeah. Alright. Got the Bronco. Time to go to Medeal and power level. Pretty much. So yeah. We're basically just using this thing as a fucking boat now. Uh, I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go or not, but we're gonna try it. Uh, yeah, because you can go ahead and get the best armor that you can at this point in the game, which is up here.
requires a little bit of maneuvering, but you can get there eventually. So we've as a human gamer guide for this game and in general. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Is this Medeal? Uh, I forgot the name of this town in particular. Bone Village. Okay, yeah. But yeah, if you go to this guy, he gives you diamond bangles. <laughs> it's just the best armor you can get at this point in the game. Uh, yeah, so I'll take three. Alright. But yeah, thanks, Rez. I appreciate that. the maroon bangles as well yeah that's for uh they're for materia growth aren't they that's right they do have doubles yeah use that for later in the game all right tifa it's been real it's been fun but my man's is here, so you gotta go. Give him Bangle, give him that power wrist. Then we're just gonna do a quick swippity swappity. Yes, I did name Kate Sith Cat Shit, because I hate that fucking character. Because <laughs> his name's Kate Sif, but I hate that character, so I call him Cat Shit. Just fuck him. This is the squad. This is who we rock with. Let's see if we can mess with the enemies around here. I probably can. He is kind of useless. He's useless, Sid. Oh shit. Oh, talk about cat sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fuck that cat. Fuck that goddamn character. Let's see if I can do this. Raven gives level two a little early in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Kate Sith is easily the most useless character in this game. Damn, those guys rocked my shit though. Still not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, I gotta give, uh, gotta give him Fury back. Oh, and I gotta give, uh, Sid Fury. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can actually go to, uh, Wutai. Slots and being able to com 
complete the victory reel on every boss before the ending. Yeah, that is kind of broken. This. Yo, what's up, Shanghai honey? How you doing, bro? What you get into tonight? I see you playing that Dead by Daylight, man. I, I, uh, how you liking that? I play that game every so often. I'm booty at it, but it's fun. Ah, shit. Oh, thanks for doing that shout out for me, home dog. Hey man, just got back from the gym, just lurking and hanging out before I eat. Hey man, I appreciate that, bro. Oh yeah, I've been loving some DVD recently. Thank you for the shout out. Oh hell yeah, bro. We're out here supporting the fam. Alright, this is actually the more annoying part of the game. What's up, Chub Mackerel? How you doing, gorgeous? Let's see. Hmm. 36? That's not that bad for this part of the game, I don't think. Plan to play one? I mean, uh, oh yeah, man. I'd be, uh... I'd be down. Let's see, I wonder if I can go to... I, I can get to Mount Nibel from here. Sort of ish. Medeal and power level with the Bronco. That's right. That's right. Medeal. That's all the way down at the bottom of the fucking map. It's a good idea. I'll go power level for a little bit. Just to get a few levels in there, you know? Because you're not going to have... Because uh, once you get into that part of the game, you don't have access to any of your materia for a while. Because Yuffie is a cunt. And she steals your shit. I hate her for it. I love her. Because she does cool stuff later on down the road for you. But man, I would love to punch her right the baby maker. Sorry, this is kind of in times three right now, and it's kind of all over the place, but, uh... Otherwise, this, this fucking journey takes a really long time. So, uh, yeah, I just hang out down here, I'm guessing. How many times have you beaten this game? So, uh... A lot. I, I really don't know how many times I've beaten this game, but it's more than eight times do you know this map by heart 
pretty much. This is Medeal, right? Yeah, okay, this is Medeal. <laughs> yeah, I know this. I know most of this game pretty well. I'll like have a, a slight lapse in, in memory for like a minute or two, but I'll usually like just it's a quick look up like, oh, okay, there it is. Well, beaten this game a ton, but it's always worth repeating. Nice facts. Hell yeah. <laughs> Plus, you need her storyline in order to complete the fourth. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh wait. Oh yeah, because you you can't get because you have to get trine from the her dad or whatever. It's probably since you can't have more than three characters, yeah. So it's a dummy seven knights of their own counter magic setup. But we do it anyways. Her father is one of three characters who cast trine. Yeah. And at the time that you get you uh you get trine for the other one. I'm done, I forgot to equip his level 3. Damn, that's, yeah, that's a pretty nice chunk of change there. Get trying from the boss and... Yeah, we only have two. Uh, also, those bug enemies can be morphed into a source. Power source, if I recall. Little roller dudes. Yeah, they can. There we go. Okay. You can have a rhino monster morph into a power source. Oh shit, nice. That'll make that easier when I go do that uh, later on in the game. Thanks, Odin. Yeah. You only have 600 HP, so you can literally morph it in disc 1 and 2. Nice! Do I have the morph material right now? Huh. Where do you get the morph material at this point in the game? Does somebody else have it, maybe? Enemy um, skill... Enemy skill... No. Oh, you get in disc too? Where you get the black material? Oh, Okay, 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 okay. I know where you talking about. I'm just going, oh, the Temple of the Ancients, most likely. Sandstorm! Man, that guy had a lot of fucking HP. He has to drop a lot of EXP. Can't remember the name of the place. Uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. The I think it's the Temple of the Ancients. Is that where Kate Sith like sacrifices itself, even though you find out it's a robot that's spying on you that works for Shinra? That's being remote controlled by a Shinra executive. Sorry, I'm dropping a few spoilers for anybody who may or may not have played this game in the past.
There we go. I'll probably get to level 40 and I'll run over there. I don't think going over 40 is going to do me... is just going to matter much. Grind in a high level area? Bring Odin! Oh, okay, so this isn't gonna insta kill him. This move doesn't insta kill, it's mostly the move that pops up when you go to do a boss fight. Still does a nice chunk of change. This is probably gonna kill though. No, shocking. Oh. Cloud's turn. Meteor rain! Dead. Damn, those guys drop a lot of AP. Was that 200 AP I just saw? That's nuts. But yeah, I remember where like a lot of uh, a lot of the key things that stood out. Uh, you can force some fury at the Temple of the Ancients maze. Okay, okay, okay. So that's, that is the place where I thought. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you guys already know I'm gonna explore every inch of that fucking area. Including getting Eric's final weapon and all that other crap. The only part that sucks about getting Sid, he's the last character you, you get before you finish the game. And like... It's like everyone else has already got all their shit leveled up. Can I see the inspiration for Onyx? Oh yeah. You know what's crazy is like this monster came out way before even this game. Um, it was reused. It's a reused asset that they, or it's a reused monster that they use a lot throughout the series. If, uh, from FF3, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, fuck. That's funny, he hit himself. Mini boss in FF6. Oh shit. Hey, my cover material leveled up. Cool. That might help. I need to go back and get another power wrist. Especially for the part of the game that we're about to encounter. We're gonna fucking need it. Holy fucking cannoli. Yeah. I'm glad you guys suggested this part.
to anybody who doesn't like watching this type of stuff, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to do this for very long. But I'm also not trying to get fucking washed when I go into this next area. God, they make it so hard to stop when they keep throwing H like the fucking experience like that at me. Like, good lord, have mercy. Grinding is fine with an audience as long as you're engaging, which you're doing fine. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Sometimes I think it's just the anxiety talking too much. Oh, yes! Do meteor rain not on my characters. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, fuck that. That would suck if he's confused and he just turns at my fucking party and just like, Who <laughs> fucking murders him? It's an understandable grind. I'm excited to see you kick some ass. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. Oh, he throws it. Whoa. Yeah, we're not even that far off from my cutoff point either. Holy shit. I mean, it helps that the times three speed is a thing. Uh, because I work 40 hours a week, and I don't want to fucking sit here and grind for three hours and only get five levels out of it, you know? It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get my point. I wish I had that kind of time to burn like I used to, man. You know? Those were the days. Don't we all? Fucking A, man. I oh, know that's right. Like... I really, really like, we're just gonna just start with uh, something I've been thinking about for a while. I really hope that FromSoft actually comes out with a new Armored Core game, and I hope it's amazing. Because apparently, if it is supposed to happen, Miyazaki's supposed to be... Insert game here, uh, no. Why? Because I work for a living and I only have a few hours a day to play. So, also... Gives you seventy dollars now. Fuck that. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck all that, bro. I ain't about that shit. Okay. So we're actually almost there. I'll get Sid. Since Sid's level thirty-seven, I'll wait till he's level forty, and then we'll go over to Butai and uh, take care of business. But yeah, I'm glad everyone's having a great time. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Um, definitely love the interaction and all the we went up to. Not a whole lot, man. I'd love to hear whatever, how everyone else has been, man. How y'all been up to? I've just been working a lot. Um, work's been changing my schedule around a lot recently because uh, of the holidays and shit. But I'm trying to work with it, you know. I definitely appreciate you guys for being patient with me because I know I don't always get on exactly in the time frame that I I intend to. But uh, you know, definitely doing what we can to make it work. Adulting sucks. I get tired. Wait. I probably don't even need to use Odin against this guy. I'm just fucking lazy and I don't feel like dealing with it. Ooh, HP plus level up. Damn, son. That means... Yeah, HP stuff is about to start jumping. Alright, good. We are leveling up the counterattack materia. I was a little worried. I was a little worried we didn't have that equipped. I was oof, so happy. That's not an actual concern anymore. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man. It's been working a lot. Uh... So I guess, uh, whenever the probate goes through with my, uh, grandma's estate, I'm supposed to be getting, uh, a PC. It's finally gonna happen, guys. Me, Madre, is gonna come through for you, boy. And, uh, yeah, so it'll be sometime early in the beginning of this coming up year, so probably within the next couple months or so. I'm pretty much just gonna keep to the specs that, uh, that Adro put up there for me. Um, he gave me a list of shit that I can, uh, get parts and stuff for a PC. <clears throat> so hey, you know, I figure I'll do something nice. I don't want to cheap out on it, that's for sure. Always redo your build. The field is always changing. New GPS and CPUs are out. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah, maybe uh, sometime in January, after the turn of the new year, maybe we'll have some new stuff out. And then we can toss it up then, or if you think maybe we can get something going now, you're the expert. Which, what do you think is new? Two year cycles for the new stuff. Okay. Hey, we're almost there, guys. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun to actually get a PC going, man. Granted, the stuff I put together for you is still perfectly fine. It's just on the tier I have on the building or upgrading, yeah. Trying to figure out why my internet is acting up running an investigation now. <laughs> it's okay, man. I appreciate you. Uh, I know the Twitch app's been kind of goofy recently, too. Like, people will be, like, uh... Some people told me they'll be watching, and then just the Twitch app goes fucking full retard on them. Alright, that summon saved my ass. Speed test first, then reset router. Yeah, shoot. Why back before you get our router outright died? What the fuck? And overheated to death. Damn! And that's fucking brutal, man. So, I guess it's these fucking guys that have been giving me the most experience. Uh, yo, what's up, waifu? How you doing? Why, ug? What's the matter? Whose legs are we breaking tonight? <laughs> oh, we're almost there. Yeah, forty should be plenty. I was a little bit over. Oh, yeah. I was mad quick. Hey, he's level 39, guys. We're almost there. Damn, we got fucking over 100k now. 
Rich P's not doing too, have, uh, too shabby either, man. Just over here, wolf with some ass. And over here to park the yeah, it's like in poor router. I don't know, somebody was at work was telling me if you like if you buy your own router and return the router that um uh Spectrum gives you or whatever, they can actually lower your bill because it's not your you're uh, paying a an equipment rental fee or some shit like that. I thought about doing it if it's true. Then when we moved, we have to get a tech come out and where she was working the shift. And, uh, they don't even make these anymore. We're like, great, because this is what you gave us not even two months ago. Yeah, yeah, Spectrum gives out some pretty uh, faulty equipment at times. But yeah, I thought about buying my own damn router after, you know, I get some decent money coming in. As far as like, uh, well, decent money coming in from the stream, I should say, because like, uh, the more money I get off of streaming, the more I'm going to invest back into it. Because if it's going to make me money, I'm going to put into it so it can get bigger and we can do more things. Because I want, I really do want to do this uh, full time if it's possible. Uh, I'm willing to put in the work, you know. As long as the payoff is there, I will do it. It's an investment to have your own router and modem and, and you have more control if you know what you're doing is with it. But you know they won't come out to help you as willing because it's not the it and it's sort of, Well it seems to be fine now. Maybe it's just the wind. I mean yeah, it could be that just a lot of people are pulling off the same signal and fucking peak hours and all that nonsense. Yo, this is such a great spot to level up at. Y'all done fucked up, thank you. Appreciate you. Glad I grabbed the, uh, the diamond armlets when I did. Cool, I learned regen. So now I could just do big guard regen and just be like dead. Now you can cheese the game exactly. The game has just become cheese worthy. I'm glad this is times three, man. I know I said that already, but still. Just very grateful for it. Oh, look at that! Limit breaks are still up oh, there. Let's, uh, let's save. And that didn't take that long either, did it? Like what? 20 minutes or so? Nope. The reason why I know this particular part of the map so well is because I've gotten lost on it so many fucking times and uh, I'm the king of trial and error uh 
Oh yeah, you can go over here. Yeah, and talk to this guy. Oh no, the customer. You sure picked out a out of the way place, but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone? You need what? You didn't come here for that? Keystone is what unlocks the gate, very old temple somewhere. I'm not going to believe your ears. I heard it was uh the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. Where is the keystone? Sold it already. Well, to tell you the truth, didn't really sell it, but the guy had a way about him that made you feel like uh, it may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. <laughs> Who did you sell it to? Manager Gold Saucer. I think his name was Dio. Said he was going to put it in his museum, then he took off out of here. Dio bought it. Holy dive off! Yeah! Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Do, 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 do. What the hell is it? Shooting out and jumping in front of me all of a sudden. I know this area pretty well. It gets pretty rough past here. Better get ready. Hey, you serious? If you're trying to con us, you won't get away with it. No, it's really tough. There they are, catch him! It's Shinra. Hey, that's not them. These are the other guys from before. Yuffie, you got some nerve, kid. Wait, I don't know, I had nothing to do with this one. What do you mean, this one? This one? So you were planning on some new crooked ass and some shit, oh no. Oh. See, Sid be calling bitches out, bro, he don't give a fuck. He's smart as hell. Somehow Red 13 still has bolts? Fuck it, let's use it. going on? I knew something was missing. My materia is gone. Hey, where's Yuffie? That little bitch! Taking me for a fool. No doubt about it. That kid was after my, our, our materia from the start. Looks like she went north. Don't drag your asses. We gotta get... <laughs> We're going right now. <laughs> that bitch is history. I think I have two, but uh, Red 13 also has the Seraph Comb, which has like 68 base strength. Yeah, base strength. Um, so it should, it should be okay for now.
Cool. Oh, that's right. This is X Potion fucking city. And somehow, Red 13 kept Bolt. She's like, nah, you can have that. Uh-oh, meteor rain time, baby. Mmm. Delicious. You love to see it. Finishing touch, yes. More X potions, yes. Stick. Dynamite, yes. All right, so now I can take Hyper off of both of these guys. They don't need it anymore. But I think I'm keeping Red 13 with this level three limit break for a while. He literally lights a stick with his smoke. He says, have a nice day and go fuck yourself. It's a true story. Damn, I was about to walk into the fucking town and it's like, nah, one more. Bitch, you better get back here. I'm gonna kick your ass. How did you get here? Never mind that. I guess it's fate that brought us together. Get ready to die. You know the Turtles Paradise posters? Nah, not yet. I don't even think you can get them all at this stage in the game. I wait till I get the, uh... uh I wait till I actually get the airship before I even do it. What are you talking about? I don't know where, uh... I'm taking a vacation and resting up from our work. Now our vacation's ruined, but... Even the booze tastes bad now. Sorry. Lazy, you goddamn right. It's called working smarter, not harder. All right, let's go in here. And so, uh, never mind. Absorb is pretty much man in this game, but in the remake, it's key to breaking the entire game. Oh, for real? That's pretty wild how they do that. This is my house. Nobody gets in. Oh, 
Oh no, more weirdos. This is like the one from a while ago. These ones look weird too. Yep, she's hiding in here. Get back here, you little bitch. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right, the boys is ready for that ass. Quick magic hit everyone. Tie MP absorbing magic. Highest level means damage. Oh, okay, nice. Can't get away, Yuffie. Okay, I know I was wrong. You win. I'll give you back your materia. So reports were right. He is a uh, he is here on vacation. Finally found him. Get the Turks. We're here for backup. What a drag. What was that? We're off duty now. You can't save your butts. We know you're off duty, but if you knew, then don't bother us. Looking at you makes me sober. But you all have orders from headquarters to look for him too. Alright, fine. Get him without any help from the Turks. Just you see. Way more damage in that game anyway. It really does, yeah. Don't think headquarters isn't going to hear about this. Reno, do you think that was really such a good idea? I mean, is that way a professional, way a professional, a Turk would act? Lena, don't misunderstand. Those who sacrifice themselves for their jobs aren't pros, just fools. Rude. It's like, I don't give a fuck. Well, I don't buy that. Goodbye. Just relax. She's not a child. Let her have her way. See? Act your wage. Even the Turks knew it in the 90s. Hell yeah, man. I know the materia, right? I've stored it in a safe place. Follow me. I've been hearing that ever since I was little. Before I was born, Wutai was not was a lot more crowded and, and, and more impressive. See what it looks like now, right? Just a tourist trap. After the war we got peace, but we lost something. Now look at Wutai. That's why I if I had lots of mirror materia I could. Oh yeah, she crying. Listen, Yuffie. I don't care about the history of Wutai or your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> You've got our material and I want it back now. If you give it back now, we'll drop the whole thing. Based. That's right. I know. I know that. Sniffle. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so in reality, it doesn't matter which wish you, which switch you push. It does the same thing. The only difference is she'll be like, "Oh, you should have listened," and "Haha, that's what you get for listening." What are you doing? You want materia? Go find it yourself. Yeah, that's right. When you're looking for materia, remember you gotta steal it. <laughs> steal, steal, get it? See ya. I hate her. I hate her so much. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is where so now we go. Don't forget, you can come back with Leviathan scales. 
Your fire from stuff from the caves. Yeah, you get the steel as well materia and the leviathan materia. If memory serves correctly. Oh god, that mercy. Oh. Yeah, I think that's in disc too. You get the Leviathan scales from the subway, or yeah, the the submarine station. Do do. Let go. I said let go. Hey, who do you think I... Who are you talking to? Uh, where are you taking me, you jerk? You. Ho ho. Canero? Ho oh, he. I finally got a new chicky. Two for one, in fact. <laughs> Two? Hey, let go of me. You're gonna regret this. Swift Bolt and Elixir. There he is, it's Kadiro. Don't let him get away. Attack! Damn, my boy said. secret room in here there we go hairpin it's a weapon for red 13 but I think it's his joke weapon so he doesn't have any material slots yeah it's a long-range weapon it's not any good anyway the serif comb does more damage it's not even worth losing all your material slots Wanna rest? Uh, sure. There we go. There's an escape in Elena. Let's go, Rude. We'll give them a taste of what the Turks can do. If he has Elena, he's gonna make things difficult. Uh, and, uh, okay. Canera took Yuffie from us. And without Yuffie, there was no way to get our materia back. Don't misunderstand. We have no intention of joining you. But we're just agreeing not to fight each other, for now. That's fine. I have no intention of cooperating with you, either. Now, uh, which direction did Kinera run off? Nice attitude, here's a clue. It's the most obvious place. Exactly. Oh, 
like he was floating. He was floating. Wow. Kid, I'm not trying to talk to you anyway. I'm just trying to get at the save point, my dude. Ring the bell in the courier. Oh, I already did. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee real quick and then we'll get right back to it.
Hello, hello. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> totally didn't just smash an ice cream sandwich on my way back from the bathroom. I'm not gonna talk about it. Finally here, let's split up. You do whatever it takes and don't endanger Elena. Don't worry, we won't do anything to hurt Yuffie. For now. I think it's go up this way and around the back of this dude's head and then down here. Boom! Don't tell me I don't know where I'm going, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I look at some of these enemies and wonder how the fuck they're making it in the remake. Yeah, exactly. What would it be? Hmm. -hmm. Can I take her? Hey, hey, I'm a Turk. Can't get away with this. Or maybe her. Oh God. If I knew I was this would happen, I would have taken rope lessons more serious seriously, oh no. Hmm, I've made my choice. My companion for the night will be the cheerful one. Grossness! Don't mess with me, old man. You don't even have any materia. And she's saucy too. Yeah, she's also 16, you fucking pervert. At least Elena is of age, and she kind of looks like Android 18. Don't look at her and tell me that she doesn't. I dare you. I know Yuffie is 16, Elena is 19. I actually am not sure about her age. She could have been around 19 or maybe in her early 20s. Uh, maybe God will forgive an ugly fuck like you, but I won't. That's right, Sid. You fucking tell him. Hurry and let the two go. Be quiet. None of you know how much I've suffered since then. It's a long story, but... No one cares. Give a damn. You're gonna let him go, or else I'm gonna break your arm. Damn. You guys are serious. Good, good. It's time I'm not fooling around either. Why did you kill my little apps? I'm gonna make you play with my new pet uh, so you don't interfere with my search for a bride. Raps, come here. Do 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 See if I have anything cool that I could throw at him. Hey, let's give him some of that loco weed. The loco, the loco weed, bro. Deadly ways. Ooh, yes, marble tentacles. Oh, it does zero. Damn it, man! There you go, this one's for the homies. Yeah!
Let's see if how much that does. Nothing. Free freak. Easy. Easy peasy, baby. Damn, didn't even level up off him. Ain't that a bitch. Got the peace ring. Wait. Just wait a second. Shut up. Just listen to me. It won't take long. Why do you think a bad guy like me would swallow his pride and plead for his life? Uh... Okay, one, because he's ready to die. Two, because he's sure to win. Three, because he's clueless. Any of the bottom, of the top or bottom answers, right? Bits of cigarette, cigarette impact of spokes. Oh, uh, I hope it is, though. I really hope it is. It's just, it's part of his character, you know? It's the middle answer. Oh, yeah, it's always the middle answer. Both times. I'm so pissed. Once I push this button, they'll fall and be squashed like tomatoes. Bam. So this is how a loser lives. Good. Guess I have the last laugh. No, that would be us. Hee haw. <laughs> What's going on? Who's there? The Turks! You knew this was gonna happen ever since you leaked that secret. They're gonna take care of you personally. Damn it. They're all coming. Then they're all coming with me. Ugh. Good timing, Rude. Let's get to work. Alright, Nero. This will be over quick, so listen up. Why do you think we went through all the trouble teaming up with these guys to get you? One, because we're ready to die. Two, because we're sure to win. Or three, because we're clueless. <clears throat> two. Number two? All wrong. No, wait, stop. Have a good night, Shanghai, honey. Appreciate you stopping by, bro. <clears throat> the correct answer was... Because it's our job. Oh, thank you very much. I never thought you'd come. Lena, don't act so weak. You're a Turk. Yes, sir. I'll just say you helped. Yes, this is Reno. Yes. Yes, I'll get on it right away. Was that the company? Yeah, they want us to find Cloud. Are we on? No. Today's our day off. Hey, who cares about that? Get me down! Stretch, okay. I'll stretch while she fucks up where I put my materia.
Oops. Alright, beautiful. Phew, perfect. Now the material is back in its rightful place. Hey, the order is all messed up. <coughs> oh. Huh? Oh, it'll be alright. Don't be so picky. Anyways, that sure is close. No, normally I would kick their butts. Boom, bang. That canary guy is a real pain. I'd rather deal with my dad than that guy. <coughs> you know, some of those Turks guys, Turk guys are pretty good, huh? At least after all that, we got the materia back. Now, come on, everybody, let's continue our journey. Hey, wait! Oh, all right, I'll give you this too. Oh yeah. Hey, look, look. Come on, wait. No matter what you think, I'm going with you. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what happened here. Why does he have fury again? Oh god, I hate it. This is no. <sighs> anyway, like, okay, so the whole reason why I did this has nothing to do with going into the pagoda right now. I'm not gonna do that till way later on when. Uh, probably even into disc 2, to be honest with you. Like, it's just because Yuffie's a higher level, she could solo shit better. Uh, this is the whole reason why I decided to come here, was so I can start getting the, uh... Just because I might actually consider using Barret at some point. Slash Lance. I think I might even... Oh, the Dragoon Lance is somewhere up there. Like, I'll put this on for now. Throw on the Murasame. Because these are basically the best weapons you can get at this point in the game. Um, cool. <clears throat> wow, I'm actually not that far away from mastering that all materia. That's fucking dope. Plus, Odin. Yoshiyuki. Oh yeah, no, I didn't grab that from him, I forgot. That is a good weapon, it's just like... It only has two linked materia slots. It hurts the soul. Oh yeah, enemy skill, that's what I was wanting to put on him. Man, yeah, poison. Balancing egg, bad one. Fuck balance, all the chaos. It's the opposite of organic, tons of slots. Should attack, yeah. Sounds about right. 
Actually, no, I'm gonna put that on red 13. Let me see what his uh, dex stat is. Oh, it's the lowest at all. Damn, okay, so red's gonna be my new stealer guy until I get fucking steel as well. I love steel as well. That's such a good. Um, such a good material to have. Clouds crap. Uh, Titan HP plus. I don't know. All my materia sucks right now. Switcher Rooney. There we go. Going back to the deal. Oh, just grinding? Yeah. I might do that off stream. Like off camera. It still fucks with me that X is actually the confirm button in this version of the game. Because muscle memory tells me otherwise. Now, weapon shop is a double growth weapon for someone. I think it's Sid. Oh, uh, no, nah, it doesn't have a double growth weapon. There's a double growth weapon that you can find around this area. That's not so this too. Actually, hang on a minute. I better grab the best weapon I can for Eris from here because Lord fucking knows I have to play with that insufferable cunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go up the fucking, uh, the statue up here because there's, there's the Dragoon Lances up here. For Sid. That's another reason why I like running him in Red 13, because they get busted ass weapons for no fucking reason in the early game, and then they just stay pretty decent the entire time. Oh, that's the Slash Lance. It looks exactly the same as the fucking spear he gets. His homemade spear. I 
think it's up here. In this cave. Yeah. Drago Lance. Yeah, it's really good. 66 attack. That's really good. Uh, considering that Clouds Murasame hits a max of 51, and it's actually two points lower than the Seraph Comb. Again, same trade off. You don't get any uh, link slots on it, but oh well. It's fucking magic. It's it's fucking base attack is just godlike. Also, fun fact: the Masamune copy you get from the roller coaster Gold Chester is originally planned. Another cloud weapon, but it was cut. Seeing the cloud had enough weapons. Yeah. That makes sense. Because, yeah, you can get the Masamune Blade from the roller coaster thing. Yeah, you're right. Still in the game, but does nothing. Yeah, it's just a key item. I wonder how it is, uh... Ooh, Sid's got booty magic. Somewhere down the files. Gold saucer. There's nothing. Oh. Weird. I was sad to find out that, uh... Okay, so I did find out how to do the Mew glitch on the bridge above Cerulean City, I believe it is. Uh, the second, the second town you do a gym, uh, fight at. Uh, I did that version of the glitch. You can't use it in Pokemon Home. Or you can't transfer it in Pokemon Home. I was so sad. So you're supposed to catch Celebi, the Japanese version had files activated and it works fine. Oh shit. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, Nintendo purposely blocked any of those, cause fuck you. Yeah, basically. It's a shame, too, cause it was a cool glitch. Like, you get a Pokedex entry and everything for him. And you don't need a Game Shark to do it. So many people thought back in the day you had to have a Game Shark. It's like, no, why do you think Game Shark. Where do you think they got it from? Game Shark didn't make that. Somebody at GameShark knew what they were doing and made it easy for you to get his ass, though. I used it. No, that's how I found out about it, too. Yeah, I used him. I used the, the GameShark first. And then I found out you could do the missing no glitch while the other shit in the, in the game without it. So that's what I did. I'm like, okay. Game Shark and not offer me nothing that the game can't do itself. Unless you're playing yellow. Yellow gets shafted and all the good stuff. Because I'm missing a can corrupt your save file. That's why I never caught his ass. You don't even fight him. You just encounter him and run away. Like, some people I knew fought him, some people I knew caught Pokemon that were like 154, they were like level 154 Pokemon, like, shit you know isn't gonna be okay. And then they'd sit there and pump them full of rare candies till they hit like level 30, or like level 300, and they dropped to level 30 at like, some point. Shit was wild, dude.
Yo, Doubles, what's up, bro? Thanks for the raid. How was Call of Duty? How was the calling for booty doing? Did you get the dub? Did you get the dub? If not, it's okay. Do -do -do. But yeah, now Sid and Red 13 hit like absolute fucking dump trucks. Dumping all this damage off on motherfuckers. It was weird. New Warzone came up and I definitely can't get a dub with it, but it was fun. Okay, well, hey, I'm glad you at least had a good time. Um. Hopefully next time you're, if you're able to play, you can, you can score that dub like you want to. So yeah, that's a good idea. I should give Odin to Sid so he can get the credit for killing all enemies. Can drop this. He doesn't need a revive. We got Phoenix Downs for that, man. What about Life 2? What about Angel Whisper? Absolute fucking monsters. There we go. Him with that steel bladed sword. Nom, 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 nom. Like we're in this one. Okay. And Sid was the one who killed him. This isn't such a bad place to level up. Mainly because they just drop X potions like they're going out of style. I'm like, uh, you're just gonna give me some cool shit like that? So free? Okay. Okay, man. I take the free stuff. Alright, so that was fun. Finished up Wutai and I think record time for myself. Um, let's see, what else do we do now? Uh, I guess we gotta go to Gold Saucer and talk to Dio and get the Keystone, right? Let's start heading over there. Um, let's see, what's the closest I can get? This is probably the closest I can get to the H. Uh, yeah, this is probably the closest I'm gonna get. I'm glad it doesn't matter what level enemies are supposed to be. Hell to the yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the nuts having the fucking level up limit breaks, but it is what it is. But yeah, man. Um, so what's different about the uh, the new Call of Duty? Is it is the movement that's throwing everyone off?
Fucker. Hey man, we're actually getting pretty far into the, like the first disc like area. This is like towards the end. About two thirds of the way through, I'd say. Let me get to give me the mech daddy. Gold ticket cover go freely as long as you don't lose it. Gold sauce in many places you must pay GP. Just think of GP as money while you use a gold saucer, redeem games and wonder square and truck the races. Please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. Don't mind if I do. I think it's the battle square. Do -do. Yep, it's in the showroom. Go in there. It's the keystone. <laughs> Long time no see, boy. Hmm, you like that, huh? You let me borrow this? <laughs> Sorry, but it's not for rent. Hmm. Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it in one condition. One condition? <laughs> Entertain me. What do I gotta do? Oh boy. Nothing all that difficult. This is the battle arena. Show me your fighting skills. Just you, boy. I'm expecting a good fight. So yeah, you just go to the battle arena. You don't even have to do that good. You could have, you could honestly die after the first round and you'd still get the keystone. Oh, I'm down five levels. It's okay, though. And he's, after each round, you take like a penalty. Off of a roulette thing. There we go. I had to make sure I did that just in case something bad happened. Oh, that's right, I stripped those as well. Ooh, he did. Of course. Half MP. Alright. Oh no, he's gonna frog song me. Alright, cool. I killed him before he could turn me into a frog again. Oh, down five more levels. on. He's gonna throw that fucking big guard on. Now we're just fucking cranked out. Both barriers. Got fucking HP regen. And haste. So good. Half MP? Sure. I'm actually getting kind of lucky. Rage Bomber! Oh, please give me my fucking memory break. I dare you. Ooh, get cut, bitch. Thank <laughs> you. 
That'd kill him. Oh, Rage Bomber. Yeah, he's gonna get countered and then he's gonna die. No, maybe not. I don't want to use my fucking limit break on him. There we go. Zero MP. All right. Down ten levels. Oh, they're coming in swing swinging. of the battle arena because yeah unless you get accessory broken yeah yeah if you get accessory broken you're uh basically up shit's creek without the paddle at that point Yeah, no, Ribbon makes this, makes Ballerina a total joke. Hey, hey, there we go. Oh, you're dead, bro. <laughs> Oh no, I'm minied. I got turned into a miniature version of myself. Uh, is it cornucopia? Yeah. Stuff it in a cornucopia. And then we're gonna put the finishing touch on this here dragon. Like you're saying something. Counterattack? Trying. Oh, he misses. Oh, he misses. Stop missing.
you know, try and miss. Yeah, me neither. Yo, this dragon has like a million health. Oh. Fucking blow me. It's a good thing I put the counter attack into the, uh, on this motherfucker at least. Damn. Because I probably have Fury on. Hey, we did it! Wow, I think this is the first time I've actually beaten it uh, for just getting the Keystone. Well done, young man. And as I promised, you can take it. Well, I'll give you this too. Keystone. Protect Vest. Choke a Feather. Cool. Shall meet again. <laughs> what Choke a Feather do? Dexterity plus 10, that's cool. Hey, all that grinding I did earlier paid off. Thanks, Dio. Holy Diver. Last in line, motherfucker. Go. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, the train is out of order right now. So? I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. What's wrong? Too bad, it happens though. Date night! Hell yeah! I know, let's stay at the hotel. They know me here. Let's go talk to them. I'll let you know once the repairs are completed. We don't usually get the chance to be together like this, huh? Cloud, how about it? Can you tell us what's happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Did you get the super secret berry date? No, I've never. Uh, it's hard to do. I've been here once. Uh, I've been here since the beginning and I still don't know what's going on either. Cloud. What the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. All I have to do now is sleep. You're still young. What are you complaining about? Phew. Going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth is in search of the Promised Land. Promised Land? A land full of Marco energy, or at least that's what Shinra believes. I don't know if it actually exists. Citrus will return to the promised land. A lamb promises boundless happiness. Citra, that's some kind of disease? That's what the ancient called themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Then you just know that you found it. Eris, can you feel it too? 
I think so. So Sephiroth is traveling the world really searching for the promised land. Is that it? He's searching for that and one other thing. The black materia. I heard from Dio that the man in the black cape was looking for the black materia. I've never heard of the black materia. How many men with capes and number tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How'd you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are just war scars, but the number is done by Hojo. So there are at least 13. You know, I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes. But I don't know what it was, uh, what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, it's just the uh, all too damn confusing. And sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. What was that all of a sudden? What? That's it? I'm going to bed. Is that all? How about the black materia? You wouldn't understand it even if I told you. Now all we gotta do is take action. We're starting tomorrow. Cloud. I'm number 13. Am I gonna go mad too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But be strong. But I... Stop at Red 13. Be strong. <laughs> Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried. I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation. Hey Sid, let's go back to our rooms. <laughs> My boy over here is snoozing. He said, fuck y'all, I'm taking a nap. Oh, it's time, boys and girls. Come on in, girl. Yeah. What's wrong? Thought about what I was going to say, but it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, it's cool when he passes out randomly, whatever. But I do it. I get shit for it. <laughs> Run to the sneak out of here and spend some time together. Come on, let's go. Hey. Tonight's enchantment night. Uh, all the attractions are free. So you kick Dirt in Aerith's face to get the date with Tifa? My ninja. That's right. I will do it every time, all the time. Tifa is just a superior Final Fantasy VII waifu. Congratulations. You're our hundredth couple today. You two will play the leads in tonight's show. What? <laughs> oh. Oh now. It's not hard. Just play whatever however you want and the rest of the cast will cover it up for you. It's a wed Barrett date run. Uh I can make it a next like a next year thing. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Alright. That works for me. Damn. I think after date night, I might have to go to sleep, though. It's getting late. I did good, though, man. Neil Shadow appeared over the... Uh, peaceful Kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped, and the evil Dragon King Valvados... Uh, or by the evil Dragon King Valvados. What will become of her? Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. Uh, hey, it's your line. Yeah, you. Ahem. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. By my soul, please, please save Princess Rosa. Now please talk to the king. The legendary hero, Alfred. 
You have come to save my beloved Rosa. On the peak of the dangerous mountain dwells the evil King Valvados, who's kidnapped the Princess Rosa. But you can't beat the evil dragon now. Talk to one that can help you. We talk to. Uh, talk to the wizard. And the greatest re uh, wizard foreman. What do you wish to know? Evil dragon hit the princess's measurements. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look. <laughs> what ho? Oh, you dare ignore the evil dragon king? Gah! I'm the evil dragon king, Volvados. Uh, I've not harmed the princess. I've been expecting you. Please, I'll be a legendary hero. How was that? Who is your enemy? Say it! <laughs> that night. <laughs> the evil dragon king? What? Thank you, you released me from that spell, and now I'm normal self again. Oh behold, love is triumph. Uh, let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's... Oh my god. <laughs> Found the power of love and legendary hero off in the storyline of the reactor. <laughs> what is this? That can't be the end. <laughs> God. That was funny. Yeah, let's go to a gondola next. Okay, gondola time. She's gonna give me a hand job in the gondola. Woohoo! Nice. I'm too nasty to be in these types of situations. So the trick to this is, while she's looking out the window, the second she says something, you look out the window and you'll catch the cutscene. I was going to see these main attractions closed, yeah, for real. I mean, it's a good way to start the situation, though. Luscious personalities, yep. Oh yeah, those things would be seeing some airtime, that's for sure. It's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. What? Eris would be able to come out and say it, probably. Cloud. Sometimes being old friends is hard. I mean, timing is everything. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Cloud. Hi. She was going to tell him that she loves him. God, I had, I really had fun tonight. In a fucking way, any man was not getting people wanted some. Yeah, exactly. It'd be heels to Jesus in fucking seconds. I guarantee it. This fucking cat.
Oh my fucker, you got my keystone. Hey, catch it. He went to the fucking... Get your fat ass back over here! Hey, over here! The keystone! Hold well on. Hey, wait a second. I won't run or hide. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. Don't mess with us. I couldn't help it. I thought if we go on, like nothing ever happened. No way, Cat. You're gonna. You got a lot of guts acting like a friend uh, without uh, but being a spy. Then what are you going to do? Kill me? You'd just be wasting your time if you tried. This body is just a toy anyway. My real body is at Shinrin headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from there. So you're from Shinra. Who are you? Well, I can't tell you my name. We're not going anywhere. See, I told you, talking won't do any good, so... We can't just do the journey? Fucking Reeve. You think I'm joking? Alright, yes, I am a Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. I think it's your way of life. You don't get paid, you don't get praised, yet you still risk your lives and continue your journey. Seeing that makes me... Just makes me think about my life. I don't think I would feel too good if things ended the way they are now. If you're lying again. I'll never tell you the truth. Once a spy, always a spy. I can't go on with something like that. Come on, get real. Just as I thought, talking won't make a bit of difference. But prepare for something like this just in case. Why don't you listen to this? Papa, Tifa, Marlene. Hey, it's Tifa. Tifa, help, I'm... So... You have to do it as I say. You're the lowest. I didn't want to do this, using dirty tricks and taking hostages. But this is how it is. No compromises. So why don't we go on as we did? Tomorrow is the Temple of the Ancients, right? So I know where it is. And I'll tell you. Uh, so I'll tell you later. Of course. We'll get there after the Shinra, but you'll have to deal with that. Well, we're stuck. We have to do what he says. Marlene. Yeah, right? He's kidnapped little Marlene, man. That ain't cool, bro. Alright, and after that, Cloud clapped some cheeks, they got some leftover shackles from last night, they got crazy with it. Alright, I hate to breeze through the dialogue, but I'm fucking tired. Basically, this hairy cunt decided she has to come with us. I hate it. I hate it so much.
see you later. Alright guys, well, that does it for uh, date night. Um, made some really good progress today, I would say. I uh, really appreciate everyone who came through tonight and hung out. Uh, when we pick back up, we're going to be going through the Temple of the Ancients, as well as, uh, I think we go through the, uh, what is it, the Forgotten Capital, and then that's the end of the Disc 1 era stuff, and then we just move straight to Disc 2. Um, where all the crazy shit, all the real crazy shit starts happening, and I don't know, there's a bunch of wild shit that happens, man. But I'm glad that you guys all had a chance to join me today. Um, again, if you haven't already followed already, please feel free to follow if you want to keep up with the playthroughs. Um, subscription, uh, subscriptions are always optional, but it's always appreciated too. Uh, but in the meantime, I just wanted to say thank you all again. Really appreciate it, and I love you guys, and I'll see you next time on Friday. Peace.